we're really seeing a tsunami of violence and nobody's saying anything about it. The head of the local police union is taking aim at the Marion County criminal justice system, saying it's broken and calling for change. He says the community correction program using electronic monitoring is ineffective and aids in the city's growing crime problem. rtv 6s Stephanie Wade is digging into this issue and why the county is fighting back. People are dying and being critically injured in our streets and no one will even come out and say, I'm outraged by this. Now on the fifth consecutive year of record high murder rates in Indianapolis. In the last 40 days, we have had 80 people shot. 29 people stabbed and 23 people killed. The head of the city's fraternal order of police is calling out a problem he says is allowing criminals quickly back out on the streets to commit crime. We have more offenders on ankle bracelet monitoring than any other city in the nation. Right now, there are over 4,000 offenders on electronic monitoring in Indianapolis, more than double any other city in the country. Does 4,000 people on electronic monitoring sound like a lot to you. It's not too much if you look at the fact that jail is a place to hold people, but it's not an environment where people with mental health issues, substance use issues, and some of those other criminogenic needs can address those needs. The Marion County Community Corrections Executive Director says their ankle monitoring program has evolved over the years, where now they have caseworkers that work closely with those individuals to address the root causes of crime and only send people to incarceration that are the least suitable to community supervision. How's that working out for us? We have had 609 people murdered murdered in the last four years. Snyder questions how effective electronic monitoring is when he says the city finds about 100 ankle bracelets a month that have been cut off by offenders, some even found at crime scenes. We've had shootings, stabbings, robberies, domestic violence, and we'll find cut off ankle bracelets somewhere in the area. It's wrong for people to cut their bracelets off. But a number of those hundred that he's referencing anecdotally are people who have completed their sentences and are just not having it properly removed. Of the ones that are cutting them off criminally, that's an escape under Indiana statute and we address it immediately. When we apprehend you, we charge you with escape, guess what you get? You get an automatic $500 cash bond and you're released right back out. Working for you, Stephanie Wade, RTV6. And the community corrections director says it costs less than $5 a day to have a bracelet on somebody, as opposed to the substantially higher cost of incarceration. Ankle bracelets can also help solve crimes when they do happen because they can locate where the bracelet was found.